What's up everyone, Dapper here. We're back playing some more Marble World. Today, it's time to get spooky. So as you can see over here in the boss's office, Marble World just had an update and brought some Halloween decorations into the game. As you can see, we got a bunch here. We got candles, we got, we got some tombstones, we got pumpkins, we even got a cauldron and some spooky trees. So the plan for the day is to build a spooky marble run. And I definitely, definitely want to build like a graveyard. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Also, before we get in today's video, have you ever wanted the chance to be a marble in one of my videos? As you can see, all the marbles on the screen are subscribers from my channel who have commented on my videos. So if you want to become a marble, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and most importantly, leave a comment down below and you too could become a marble in one of my upcoming videos. Anyway, let's jump right in. I, I think I want to build it in here. Uh, we definitely have a lot more room in the office. So I think before... Before I actually start building the marble run, I kind of want to build like the landmarks first. <laughs> um, I think I want to build a graveyard. So I'm going to start off by getting, oh, what do I get? Maybe some tracks here. So I'm going to start laying down a couple tracks and I'm going to start setting up the decorations around the tracks. So let me get the tracks laid out first and then we will talk about the decorations. Okay, so I have this track laid out and I have this uh, flat decoration piece underneath the track. And I'm thinking about building like an entire graveyard kind of around this section. I think that'd be really cool. So let me get this into position here. And uh, so this is going to be one of the features of this marble run. It's not going to last very long. The marbles are just going to kind of come down here. Mm, maybe I should change this a little bit. Hold on. It'd be kind of cool to have the marbles actually run through the graveyard. So, all right, so I'm starting to lay down some props here just to get an idea of what I want to do. I really like the black ground, but I think I might need to make this more graveyardy. So, uh, I think I'm going to do something like this. All right, so we have the grass. Oh, these are kind of floating. I guess we will worry about that later. Um, can I make this area dark? Okay, so I originally wanted to do a spooky run on this map, but I think it's too bright. I mean, I can't really get it dark in here and I would use the dark ground, but I mean, uh, it's not really like realistic or anything. So I do want to try something. I'm going to go to another map real quick. Let me just save this world. Okay, so we are now on the garden. And what is cool about the garden map is we actually can go inside this building here and look how dark it is in here. So I wonder if I place the same props in here, can I get this to look dark? Uh, I'm gonna use the special and it's about the same. <laughs> it's about the same. Uh, well, I guess it's, it's kind of dark. Okay, new plan. We're going back to where I was before. We're going back to the office. All right, we're back on the office and instead of using grass, I'm, I'm just going to leave it dark. <laughs> it looks so much better. I don't know why. Um, I'll probably put some walls around this later on and cover things up. I'm just going to get this roll in here, though. I'm going to start by copy pasting some of these uh, tombstones so that it'll start to look like a real graveyard. So I'm going to copy paste these. I'll do it again, but I'm actually going to flip it around just to kind of make it look a little better so we don't have repeating tombstones. All right, so that's starting to look pretty good. That's the start of a nice graveyard for sure. Um, let's get this track going now. We can put a track there. We definitely need to get some cool track colors going here as well. So I think I'm gonna make this like that. And then we can maybe do some orange. Ooh, ooh look at the orange. That's looking good. Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to color that, but here we go. Now that is starting to look like a Halloween run already. But I'm going to start placing some more track pieces down. There we go. Now I'm just going to paint them up. There we go. This paint looks way better. Look at that. That looks, that looks spooky. Look at that. Looking good. Okay. All right. Now I think it's time to get some more tombstones down. All 
All right, so here we go. Our graveyard is starting to look good. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it definitely, definitely needs some grass. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure that out. I love the dark, ominous look of the ground, but uh, it doesn't really match. I don't really feel like I'm completely at a graveyard. So, um, I might have to figure out the finalized paints later, but just for now, I'm just, I'm gonna leave it as grass, even though it's so bright, uh, it doesn't really look as Halloween-y uh, right now. <laughs> halloween -y. Anyway, anyway, let's continue on. Let's see what else we can do with these props. Um, do we have any fences? I feel like all graveyards are fenced in. Can we, if, if we don't have fences, can we make fences? That is the question right now. Um, so I do not see any fences so we might just have to use like some shrubs to keep this graveyard in okay so i've used a bit of the shrubs there <laughs> oh my gosh this is gonna be something <laughs> all right so i'm gonna copy these graveyards here and i'm gonna bring them over here might have to delete a few of them yeah definitely so now i can take these guys and i'll bring them over to about here that looks about right. Bring these forward. Those graves are a little close together, but that's fine. You know, we're getting the whole graveyard feel here. All right, so we definitely need some dead trees around here. So here we go. I'm gonna start placing these. Oh, now this is starting to feel like Halloween. Look at that. That is perfect. Here, let me flip this one so it looks a little bit different. That's good. We'll get another one over here. Now we gotta get some pumpkins in here. All right, so now that's a graveyard. That's looking pretty good. Let's see, what else can we do here? Ooh, look at this. We can hang this from the tree. That looks pretty good. <laughs> um, and then I can put another one over here. All right, so that's hanging from that tree. And then I can do one more over here. All right, there we go. This is starting to look pretty good. This is <laughs> Unfortunately, the marbles are just gonna roll through here in like two seconds. So, but creating this uh, this <laughs> this area is a lot more work than uh, it might be worth in the end, but it still looks cool, it looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna get these turned here and I'm gonna start getting this side fence going. Okay, look at that, we got one area set up. One area that's gonna last two seconds of an entire marble run and that is it. Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I suppose we'll just leave it like this. I might actually move this tree. It might look a little bit better over here, and then I can kind of fence this in a little bit better. So I'll do that. And there, that looks pretty okay. And then I'll do that. All right, so now I need to fill in the graveyard a little bit more, and then we can work on other Halloween-y things. <laughs> All right, there we go. The graveyard is complete. Now, what else can we do? with all of these props. There are a lot of things. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start placing these around just cause it's kind of cool. I have these lanterns out. All right, so now we got a bunch of lanterns. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a giant pumpkin over here because why not? There, oh, oh, look at that. Looking scary, okay. That looks good. I'm just gonna start placing props around just to make this scene look good. Okay, so now I'm gonna start building out the track. I think this is gonna be a short run. Um, I don't know how many more Halloween things. We kind of just set up a scene like this. This might be about it. So we might just have like a short race for marbles to go down and we'll do as many Halloween things as we can along the way. And uh, we'll just kind of see who wins. Okay, here we go. So I've decided to make the beginning part of the track. This, uh, have the marbles spill out of the cauldron here. So as we can see, the marbles just kind of go down how crazy will that be? Uh, that actually looks pretty cool. Anyway, let's start continuing this uh, beginning portion here. I think I'm gonna have it turn right away. It seems a little bit better than what it's doing now. All right, so here we go. I decided to use some of the candles here to be kind of like, uh, kind of mess the marbles up as they go through. As you can see, a bunch of marbles hit. It's actually really hard to see. I might actually have to change the color of uh, the, the track here. I think I'm gonna do that now, actually. There, that I think that looks a little bit better. And uh, let's get this candle moved. All right, let's send these down again. Hopefully they don't get stuck there again. If they do, I'm gonna have to make some changes, but it looks like it should be okay. There we go. All the marbles make it through. We got a nice little beginning section here. I think I'm gonna bring this into a funnel as well. 
Maybe we can make a funnel look like a another cauldron, possibly. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so this doesn't exactly look like a cauldron, but it'll do. <laughs> we'll just kind of have all the marbles go into here. And I suppose I can use a few of these prop decorations to make this look a little bit better. Uh, maybe some of these. All right, so we have the first section, which is the cauldron. And that releases all the marbles here. I don't think any of them get stuck, do they? Nope, we're all good. That looks good. And then they all drop over here and go down into this funnel. Now, I need to connect these two tracks up together. I think I want to move it up. That way I have more height. So I'm just going to grab this whole section here if I can. That works. And move it into position. Okay, that should work. There we go. So now they are connected now i might use some more props here to make this look better but honestly this looks actually really good so far um i definitely need to add some more sections here because this is a very short race as it sits but i think maybe this next section will maybe just be like ooh, a haunted forest would be kind of cool i think that's what we're gonna do next so i'm gonna get a little bit more track placed down and i'm gonna start building a forest around the track I need to make sure all the marbles make it here first. So I'm doing some kind of crazy turns and I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna work. So I'm gonna send down a wave of marbles now. And if it doesn't work, I, I will make the track a little bit straighter. So that should be good. Let's see if all the marbles make it through. They are going kind of slow. I maybe should have been a bigger angle on this. Uh, I might be fine actually. I mean, yeah, the marbles do tend to like group up a little bit but maybe i can put some more hazards in the track hopefully it doesn't uh make the marbles get stuck kind of like the candles here it looks like we had no problems up here so i'll probably do the same thing kind of throughout maybe we'll put some pumpkins all over the place but this looks good i think we can put a giant forest through this section here and that'll look pretty cool and then i'll probably add a couple more things in this area i'm not really sure what this is going to be maybe this will be the pumpkin area <laughs> who knows but uh i am gonna make this Okay, I'm gonna copy this because I don't know if I'm gonna keep the grass. I really want like a really dark section. Oh, but I need that to be there. Okay, that works. I really want this to be like a really dark forest. In fact, I might even make this so that just the graveyard is grassy. I don't know. <laughs> I just want things to be ominous, dark and ominous. Anyway, I will leave it there for now. And I'm actually gonna paint the track just to make sure it still looks good. Actually, I might change the way the track looks here. That would be kind of cool. Ooh, that does look dark. Okay, now I think I'm gonna use this as the sidewall maybe? Oh, I don't know, we'll see how this looks. All right, now I'm gonna start laying out the trees to really make this look like a forest. Okay, so I've laid out a quite a few trees. This does look like a spooky forest. All the trees in this forest are dead. There's some spots that I have to fill in like this, but so far so good. It is looking pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna go through now and add maybe some lights, some pumpkins, some other things that kind of just give it a little bit more life than all these dead trees. So I'm gonna go through and start placing those now. All right, I'm also going to start placing these lanterns along the path here as well. This gives it like a dark, spooky path through the forest kind of vibes. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so so far we've got the cauldron that spills out all the marbles uh, that goes into some other kind of cauldron, like funnel thing, whatever. And then it goes down into the grave and then through the dark forest. Now we need to add something else, maybe something to finish this marble run off i know this is a really short marble run but as you can see i put a lot of work into all of the props around and uh, i don't know if i'm going to be done just yet putting props everywhere but uh it's really looking good so far um, i think we've used every single one of the new props that we could so that's good maybe except for this tree i don't think i use these um maybe maybe we can do like a downed tree here and that'll kind of push the marbles. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see if I can get this into position real quick. All right, maybe something like that will work. Hopefully the marbles don't actually get stuck on this. It looks like they might. So I'm gonna rotate this around so that they don't hit that branch. 
All right, hopefully all the marbles can make it through here. That looks good. Now I think I've used every single prop available. Let me just look through. Yes, I have. Maybe we'll put like a spooky cauldron out in the forest surrounded by candles. I don't know, some crazy stuff's going on over there. Um, last section, and I think we might do a custom piece here because uh, we've now run out of props. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet. Maybe, you think we could recreate a pumpkin? Maybe like a giant jack-o'-lantern that can eat the marbles. That would be kind of cool. Now this isn't part of the Halloween props, but it could be considered kind of Halloween-y. I mean, obviously this looks like a, uh, a weapon uh maybe i'll do something like that that's kind of cool uh that's just kind of for funsies though it's not really gonna do anything but looks uh ominous anyway this last section here oh what do we do i'm going to attempt to make a jack-o-lantern funnel i don't know how this is gonna look i've never done anything like this before <laughs> uh i got a couple ideas how i could do it but i'm gonna start out i'm gonna start out with a funnel and I'm gonna kind of go from there. So we got a pretty big funnel here. There we go, none of the marbles should fall out of that. Now, I wonder if I could make something that looks like a pumpkin around this. Maybe? Hey, you know what, maybe not a pumpkin. Let's just make this a monster, a monster that eats the marbles. So we're just gonna make like kind of like a giant mouth here, I think. And I don't really know how I'm gonna do that yet. I might have to use decorations here or something like this. Maybe I can make a prop monster. I kind of want the eyes to glow, so I think I'm going to use these. Look at that. Just by itself, that actually looks like an eye that is angry. So that's kind of perfect. So now we got two eyes. I'm probably going to have to cover up those hooks. But yeah, maybe we'll just make a prop monster. You know, a monster made up of all the different props. Maybe we can make this thing look pretty scary. Let's see what we can do here. Here, look at that. We got like a little mouth here with some teeth. We got some eyes happening. Maybe we'll have to change the shape of these eyes, but this is the start of our track monster. That's kind of funny, kind of cool. Let's see what else we can add here. Okay, so those kind of look like some hands, some arms coming out of the monster. That's good. Now let's see if I can get some track pieces going. All right, so I have no idea what this thing is, but it is hungry for marbles. It wants to eat them. Uh, it's something. <laughs> anyway, it's time to conclude this marble run. Uh, we need to have the marbles come to a finish. So I'm going to grab a piece of track here and we will bring it down. And I'm going to have the marbles merge and that will conclude the run we can see whoever wins the run as well so here we go all right i'm gonna put the finishing touches on this i'm gonna add uh, a couple more paints i'm gonna kind of close this off maybe a little bit um possibly maybe not maybe i'll just kind of let it run as is so we can see everything pretty clearly but i am gonna add like maybe a little section here and add some more props around this all right so we're just putting the final touches on it now trying to get a few props around so that the marbles get hit and uh, they're not just going down the track. Uh, you know what, let's put a grave here, why not? <laughs> marbles might get stuck on that, but hey, that's the name of the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the haunted spooky track has finally been complete. I've made a few last minute changes, which I'll go over in a bit, but first let's start at the beginning where you can see all my subscribers are waiting to race first let's check out this track so if we start out with the cauldron which is supposed to pour the marbles down onto the track i changed all the marbles back to regular colors just so we can see them it's kind of weird having every single marble the same color anyway 
Moving on, the first section of the race, we just have a bunch of candles that kind of block and get in the marble's way. It kind of mixes them up a little bit. Moving down, I tried to make another cauldron. Uh, I don't know what this ended up being. It's just a funnel. So all the marbles will come down here into the funnel. Moving on to the graveyard. I love the way that this looks. It turned out great. I mean, the the the, the things are kind of... they're. They're floating, but you know, we don't need to worry about that. Anyway, moving on, we have the next section, which is just the giant pumpkin section. That's that's really it. I didn't really do anything too special here. Kind of cool, giant jack-o'-lantern. Anyway, moving on to the haunted forest. I put a bunch of obstacles for the marbles to get around through here. And uh, also in a couple spots, oh, there's a port pitchfork there no no big deal uh in a couple spots i did put some different kind of blocking mechanisms here we go here's one of them we've got a branch kind of laying down this is kind of break up the marbles a little bit more otherwise they'd all be hugging the edge that's about it we got a spooky section there there's some uh cauldron stuff going on over there anyway moving on to the prop monster i just kind of whipped this together it looks kind of funny kind of scary it's got the mouth it's got the eyes i love the lantern eyes that's just so funny anyway it goes into the mouth of the prop monster and we have a funnel here uh which funnels the marbles down to the last section which i just kind of threw a bunch of props around which eventually merges and we will be able to see the winner all right so now let's go back to the beginning and let's get this race underway so here we go. We're about to start the race. I first want to show off all of the subscribers that commented on one of my videos. Thank you so much. If you want to be a marble in the future, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to be a marble. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this race going. I'm going to start it in three, two, one. The marbles are away. And here we go. I'm going to kind of keep with the leader here. It looks like Rainbow Key is up front. And uh, all the marbles are now moving down to the funnel. As you can see, a big group is coming through. Man, I love the look of this uh, this graveyard. It looks so good. Anyway, trying to keep up with the leader here. It looks like we have a new leader. I, J Jayun? <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounce your names. Uh, it happens a lot. Uh, my apologies. Hopefully that doesn't happen too much more. But can Jayun stay in the lead we will have to see all the marbles are now coming through the haunted forest and we are making our way into the prop monster's mouth what is gonna happen here it looks like we might have a first place winner coming through and we do how about that followed by the rainbow key followed by longstruck man what a good race and uh yeah this was a very fun build i definitely love the new halloween props the decorations look amazing and uh we we had a couple marbles kind of fly off there it looks like they're getting uh over the barrier somehow and here is everyone who's in the race thank you all so much for your comments and support i truly appreciate it i could not be doing this without you guys anyway hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to hit the subscribe and i will see you all in the next one peace <laughs>